All right, we in the building right now. Mob Life Podcast. Hard Body Podcast. However y'all want to put it. You feel me? We in the building with two-time Super Bowl champ. Kansas City Chiefs. Dion Bush, man. He's in the building, man. I appreciate this, man. What's good? What's good? Um, I reached out to you because I know... I know you from you from you from down south, you from around the area. And um I just appreciate you feel me, somebody getting somewhere that a lot of people didn't didn't get to, especially seeing two Super Bowls back to back. That shit is dope. Um how it feel just knowing that you from down here like and you at this level, like this is a peak right now. Man, it feel it feel crazy though for real, man, cause you know. Shoot, it took a lot. It took a lot of people. You yeah. feel me? It took a lot yeah. of people in my life. You yeah. feel me? Like to 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 be able to get me to this point. You feel me? Like yeah. it ain't only me, it ain't me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was a purpose in this. So just like from my you know my old boy, mm-hmm. from like all the people around, all the coaches. You mm-hmm. feel me? At Palmetto. What, all the way growing Palmetto Raiders, Raiders, yeah. Everybody, all that played a role, like in like developing me, like to be able to, you know, to make it to where I'm at. So, yeah, man, that, yeah, yeah, I, I'm forever grateful for it. Yeah, most definitely, forever most definitely. For it, yeah. I, I, um, I was watching your, uh, your highlight tapes when you was at UM, bro. You look like Sean Taylor. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> Nah, for real, bro. You was nice though. You was nice, bro. I like that. I, I I like that, bro. You 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 look good. Like um, I know your brother played ball too, right? Yeah, yeah. He played ball. He played ball. But yeah. he, he played basketball. He played football and basketball. Okay. He, he w- what school you went to? Uh, for college he had went to um, Purdue. Yeah. Yeah. That's but nice. we had so he started off at South Ridge. Yeah. And then um, he went there for two years. Ended up going to. Columbus, yeah. his third year, mm-hmm. and then I, when he went to Columbus, you feel me? I was coming out of middle school, middle school. Yeah. So then I went to Columbus right behind. Him. Oh, so you went straight to Columbus? You didn't go to South Ridge? To yeah, I ain't go to South okay. Ridge. So, okay. You know that, and I think you know that was that was that was a that was a good move. Like I feel like for my for my yeah. people like sending me up there. You feel me? It, it, it taught me like something different. You feel me? Yes. So I, that. That that decision by going straight to Columbus, that was your dad or that was like your your brother just talking to you? It really, you know, I was gonna do anything that my brother did. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like just like as far as like a focus standpoint, yeah. Like going up there and like getting from down here. Just being like straight focus on, on football. Nothing yeah. but football. Yeah. That was probably one of the biggest factors in my life. You feel me? That's real. Like like just get get in the way, you feel me? So uh I learned a lot. I learned how to, you know, deal with like all t- sorts of people, you yeah. feel me? So yeah. it um it kind of prepared me. It prepared me for school, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So So um you ended up going to UM. Yeah. You played with a lot of good players, bro. You played with Braxton Berrios, Chad Thomas, Jamal Carter, David Najuko, Travis Howard, Jaquan Johnson, and Michael Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah, all them boys. All, all them. Like Tracy, Tracy, yeah, uh, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about, he was about to slide here, too. Yeah, he should have he slid. He should have slid. That, and all these guys that I just named, they, they made it to the NFL. That is crazy, bro. That's crazy for one school. Well, UM, UM always produce great talent, but for me to see these guys and be like, damn, these boys really made it. And you also was on that team. So y'all boys was, y'all boys was nice. Um, pertaining to that, like the coaching at that time, uh, Cause I know I know they just got Mario Cristobal right. Yeah, right yeah. Now. How you how you think them boys gonna be with with him over there? Think they could be straight, man. They got all the tools. You yeah. feel me? Like like when we was out there, you know we had man, people don't know, bro. We had players, dog. Nah, I know. All of us, we were raw, dog. Yeah. Like like with the amount of time that we had, bro. We were supposed to. What what you think it was crazy. on that team? Man, it was. I, I, 
It was a couple things. Hold on, let me see how I answer this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I <laughs> you. Nah, you know, um, I don't know if we had the same resources back then. Okay. I feel like the, the you, they started being able to put more money into the program. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay. Like, even okay. like, if you look at the dorms that we had, mm -hmm. man, the dorm looked crazy. Yeah. Like, it, it, like back in the back, it, it was crazy, man. Yeah. And then like our food, man, we didn't even have like a training table. So yeah. I don't know if you know, like in college, like you look at the Alabamas, all that. Yeah, them boys. They got like their own little food area. Mm -hmm. They got they, you know what I'm saying? So they Oh, so y'all in the mix with everybody. Up. Yeah. Man, we eating, man, we eating crazy, man. We yeah. eating burgers, fries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got twelve percent, thirteen percent body fat. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. And all that, all that, you feel me? All that play a play a major role, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. We eating pizza. Before like games. After, after game <laughs> after after practice and stuff like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that was that was that was a bit different. Now when I look at the program now, you know what I'm saying? Like they got all the resources now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got you know they got the training table. They got you know the facility. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To compete with the you know bigger guys, not only with on the field but recruiting yeah most definitely i see it's a major change in recruiting with them so um as far as um college ncaa in the nfl what's the what's the difference as far as training like is it more vigorous like is it more serious what is it man like the the jump between the college and nfl man you playing everybody pros now yeah you know what I'm saying? So you can't no win with just yeah. talent no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to have something that's going to keep you in the league. Yeah. Like I tell shorties all the time, the, 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 the faster you develop a process, the faster you develop that professional mentality, the, the better it's going to be for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you know, college sometimes people, like people go to practice. They don't have no plan. Mm -hmm. They just go out there and just play and just practice. Yeah. And just go out there and float through the day. Mm -hmm. That ain't finna cut in the league. Nah, at all. Cause think about it. Every year, it's a whole another yeah. two, three thousand people yeah. trying to trying to get in, get you out of that. Why it's only people last two years, yeah, three years. Cause you gotta have something that makes you stick. You gotta yeah. have something about you, yeah, that that keeps you around. You know what I'm saying? And. That's the big. That's the biggest difference. If you ain't no professional in the NFL, like yeah. if you don't have no process, but they getting you up out of there. I already know. A couple years, one year. Yeah, shoot. That's crazy. Half a year. That's like crazy. if you ain't if you ain't doing something to pro like like to progress every day. You feel me? Yeah. If they don't see it in you. Yeah. Then they get you up out of there. Yeah. So it ain't no. You can't. It ain't no part time. This you got to be full in. Yeah, all the way so, in. So, um, damn, bro. Fourth round pick, 124th pick. Yes, sir. Yes, went, sir. went, went to the Chicago Bears. When you, when you, when you got drafted, what was that like? How was it like just knowing that you gonna be the person that you, you know, potentially change your family life? Man, it was crazy, man. Cause like, just like being the first one to, you know, get drafted in the, in, and my family, bro, like, but I come from a family full of athletes. athletes. Yeah. Everybody athletes. And you feel me? I was able to learn from a lot of my older cousins, mm -hmm. my brothers. Like, you I know, heard your brother was that stick too. Yeah, yeah he was like that, yeah. bro. He was more, he was, he was more athletic than me. Yeah. But you know, like, just me being able to come up under, under them, especially like my bigger cousins, like, they, Man, they was crazy athletes. Mm -hmm. They, I'm not, I'm, I'm far from the most yeah. athletic. You feel me? Yeah. So I was able to learn from them and able to watch them. Yeah. And then see like, okay, what, what did they do? do? Yeah. What mistakes did they do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what I had to do, and then I had my old boy that. Yeah, your old boy. He, he, you feel me? Like earlier, I was like, but I ain't know why. Like you waking me up at yeah, five a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the morning, yeah. like. And you made it where you at right now. Yeah, I'm like, damn, boy, like five in, like I, I yeah. can't do this later. Yeah. But he would just prepare you. Me, yeah. Preparing me, you know preparing. what I'm saying? So just being able to, you know, go through that process and being the first one in my family out of, you know, a tradition alone, like athletes, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And 
being able to want to crack that, yeah. crack that code, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Is is it ain't only about me. It's about the young ones yeah. that's coming behind me. You Most know definitely. what I'm saying? Most definitely. So now, like, I can give them that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So they can do it at a yeah. way higher level yeah, than me. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Most like I wanted to be an all pro, but that probably wasn't my purpose. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My purpose probably was to get other shorties yeah. to become yeah. all pros and do what I was able to yeah. do in the league. You know what I mean? Well, you cracked that dough, man. You did it, man. Congratulations. Um. You did what? Four years at Chicago. I uh, did six years out there. You did six. Yeah, six Damn, years, yeah. boy, you you hey. Yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> six years at Chicago. Then you um, I think what you got a caught a quad injury or something like that. Man, I I had all type of injuries out there. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I think what, what that was my last year. I had yeah. like a little I, quad pull. I what that was twenty one though. It might have been 21. Yeah. It might have been 21 or 21. I think it was 21. It was 21. Yeah. yeah. I was. I, I, I done did my playing, little research. Yeah, yeah, I was playing. I was playing a good. I was playing a good snap. Yeah. And then I pulled my quad. Mm hmm Ended up coming coming back then. You know what I'm saying? I had to sit a little bit because, uh, you know, when I left the players, they were playing well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was so good. you had to, yeah. But then I ended up getting another opportunity and got back out there and I played some good snaps after that. Yeah. Which, which helped me get to KC. W what was the process of going to KC? Like, how how did that happen for you? Man, it was crazy, man, because, um, you know, I was coming out my best year in the NFL so mm -hmm. far. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the most snaps that I had. Yeah. And um, I, I was pretty productive on the field. So... You know, I was like, man, this is going to be the year, man, that yeah. I'd be able to, you know, mm -hmm. get an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to, to do something, you know. So, fast forward, free agency come. Mm -hmm. I ain't getting the same yeah, what buzz you, yeah, that yeah, I thought yeah, I was going to yeah. get, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not getting the same offers that yeah. I thought I was going to get, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, boom, like, dang, man, I'm stressed out and all. Mm -hmm. man, I don't know what I'm going to do, you feel me? And... Now, just one day, like, uh, my, my agent, Rosenhaus, he hit me up. Yeah. He like, hey, you know, I had like two or three different teams. Teams offered, trying to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they were even a little bit better. But he's like, hey, I got the um, I got the Chiefs here. And they, you know, they're not offering like, yeah, you yeah, know, crazy what, money, what we yeah. thought we were going to be able to get in your market. But, you know, they offering you like, they going to give you like your full contract guarantee. Yeah. And boom, boom. So I, you know, I call, I call my my peoples and stuff like that. I'm like, what y'all think about this? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like, you made man, that you move. Win the Super Bowl, yeah, you go like out your there. first year. So I'm like, <laughs> man, you know what, man? I'm getting a guaranteed contract. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm about to play on one of the best, best teams, teams in the league. Best I'm quarterback an opportunity to win the Super Bowl. I'm mm -hmm. like. Man, let's do it. I prayed about it. You yeah. feel me? And you went. And, and you know, God led me yeah. to choose them. Most definitely. And it's been all good, bro. All good. That's man. the play. That's the play. The the um the culture in Kansas City compared to the culture in Chicago, is it a big difference as far as the team? Yeah, yeah, it's a difference. It's a difference, man. You know, when you it's hard to get that winning culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Once you once you got a losing culture, it's like it's hard it to just, break that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. you even see like some of the good teams that you be like you see them like and they got they this loaded. Player, they yeah, got they this loaded. Mm -hmm. But it's like okay, did they break that? Did they break that cycle yet? Yeah, yeah. Because you can have everything, but if you don't break that cycle, then you gonna still be yeah. mediocre. You yeah. still gonna you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. So that's crazy. Um, I'm sitting here like just observing all this last year i was so pissed off but we won the super bowl it don't matter um that y'all y'all defense i think we finished number two in the nfl yeah number two number two. number two um during the regular season the browns was number one and and i think the baltimore was number two and then kansas city was number three but in in the um in the playoffs kansas city finished number two um during that time, y'all the best defense in the NFL, the top three defense in the NFL, but y'all having receiver issues in the in the room. How was that like? How did that make the room like crazy, or it's just everybody just stepped up? No, nah, you know, like sure, the way Kansas City built, like like you got leaders like Pat. You know what I'm saying? Like 
everybody, we don't point no fingers. You yeah. feel me? Like, when stuff ain't really going right, we really just pick everybody up. Like, mm -hmm. hey, we got to make it happen at some point. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. The thing is, you know, everybody got talent in the league. Yeah. You know, it's, it comes with just confidence and, you feel me, like, just really doing it. Most definitely. So, we knew at some point that it was going to pick up. Yeah. But like we just stay on each other. Like, yeah. let's go. Yeah. And we just keep practicing, keep going hard. So, it, it wasn't no finger pointing. Yeah. No, like, damn, what's going on? Yeah. Like, everybody just, all right, we going back. We going work. back, yeah. We're going to keep going. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I think it was a um, it was a collection of everything. Because I'm, I'm watching football as a fan. Like, I'm a, I love Kansas City. The games that we was losing literally was by field goals. You know, big passes that's dropped at the end of the game. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was like, it wasn't like we was getting our ass kicked. You feel me? So I was like, it, it was going, it was going to happen sooner or later. Um, just being up there, like you used to the weather up there. Man, you will never get used to that weather. <laughs> but hey, how was that Dolphins game, bro? <laughs> and you from Miami, but I know you was freezing. Bro, that was, boy, look, I done been in some cold games. Yeah. Like, I was in Chicago. You know? Uh huh. They called the, what they called the Hawk. Yeah. The Windy City. Like, mm -hmm. that, like the wind, like make your bones chill. Yeah. You feel? yeah. But that last game, though, man, we had people out there getting frostbite. Yeah. Bro. Like, just even just standing out there. Yeah, like, it was, it was, set, yeah. Like, it, it well, it was bro. under what, like, um, 15? So it was like, when you count the wind chill, it was like negative thirty something out there. Boy. That's what it felt like. Yeah, negative thirty something. So, so we seen the dolphins coming out there. You know they ain't had no gloves on. Like boy, we were happy. Like, yeah, yeah. Y'all think this is think yeah, this think it's a joke, boy? Dead yeah. serious out here. Yeah. And Pat, they came out throwing. Like Pat and them came out throwing. I'm like, cause everybody like, oh, they, it's just gonna be a running game. No, change the whole little demeanor on that. How was that? Like the game? We got We had an advantage if you think about it. Yeah, y'all used to being like practicing that. out in yeah. the cold. It wasn't that cold, but you know we practicing, and it's. 10 degrees, mm -hmm. 5 degrees outside, you feel me? Yeah. Like, we don't have no heaters and stuff like that in yeah. practice. Yeah. Like, you you going to go out there and That's crazy. work on that mental. You finna yeah. be cold out yeah, there. Yeah, you finna be cold. You going to have to deal with it and yeah. play with it. You yeah. feel me? Travis Kessler said he loved the cold weather. That's how he played ball. And them boys had, them boys was in 80 degrees. Yeah. So you going they, from yeah. 80 to, to negative, negative 30. Yeah, man, yeah. It's over with for you. It. It's over with for your you. Body, your body can't take it. You feel me? So yeah. it ain't. That's crazy. Like man. physically, like mentally, you could be trying to say, yeah, I'm finna do Yeah, 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 but nah, your body ain't ready for that, boy. Body gonna start yeah. breaking down, shivering, yeah. but it's over with. It was definitely. So, uh, as far as just being on the Chiefs, like, I ain't gonna lie, I like Pacheco. I, I love Pacheco. That's one of my favorite players on the team. I got a ball right here with him signed. A family member. I ain't know he. About, he from, his yeah, people his from people from here, here, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I know his cousin, and she was up there. They gave him the key to the city in, New, I think, what, New Jersey or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so she brought me a ball down. I'm like, damn, his family from down here, boy. I'm going to a game. Yeah. Bro, last year, I swear to God, you can ask all my dogs. Boy, when they when I found out they was playing the Dolphins, oh my God. <laughs> boy, I'm, I, I swear, I'm like, boy, we, everybody going. Everybody. Y'all played overseas. I say, bro, why did they do this to us, man? I wanted to go. I wanted to go. But before you leave, bro, I need you to sign that ball. Cause oh, yeah, take yeah, on yeah, there. Sure, and sure. also... I'm looking forward to try to interview Pacheco because I I seen his story, bro, and the struggle that he been through. I I like it. I like I like I like. I was trying player. to get my dog down here for the camp, man, but he was at the SB, so he couldn't. Oh, couldn't Pacheco. Make it. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. make it. Man. So you, I mean, I mean, it's a friend. It's a it's a team game. Like who who who? Some of the players that you really like vibe with up there. You know, man, I I, I really vibe with all the young bucks out there, man. Yeah. Like like most of them boys, man. Like everybody on the team is crazy. Like. I got like a little relationship with like on like like in the locker room, you know. Yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you know, from the from the from the top down, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And just try to you know get wisdom when I could. You yeah. feel me? Try to you know just talk about life, enjoy the enjoy the yeah, process, of just yeah. being out there. Yeah. You know, most of the time, I ain't gonna lie. Like 
like outside, like like whenever whenever I go home, I'm really like I really go home. You feel yeah. me? And I don't really, yeah. I don't really be out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I understand. I, understand. I really understand. be at the crib, but you know I'm cool with like you know it's Josh Williams, my little young. Yeah, the, the cornerback. I be uh, I be linked up with that boy. Uh, I mean, a lot of a lot of them boys. Lot like, of, I got a good yeah, relationship. Yeah, that's with, real. You feel me? That's real. Boy, I can't, I, I can't wait to meet Pacheco. I can't wait, but I'm telling you. That's one of my favorite players, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that boy a dog too. Bro. I already ate, hey, boy, bro. Boy. I'm like, bro, I'm I'm watching. I, brother, I swear to, the NFL be making me hard, bro, because I be watching. Dog, last year I played Madden. I'm a Madden guy. I don't know if you're a Madden guy. I love man. I play, bro, I play Madden. I'm watching, they giving dudes updates. I mean, like upgrades all season. I'm watching Sneed. I'm like, what what's going on? This the best corner in the league. The best corner in the league. Boy, supposed to be at least like 95. You 95. feel what I'm saying, bro? This man, nobody caught a touchdown pass on this man until they played Buffalo Shakur. I'm watching everything, bro. Everything. So I, I would, but um, shout out to Sneed, boy. You got your money, boy. You got your Sneed, money. What it is? <laughs> got your money. Um, another person who I want to shout out. Um, I don't know if you watch the HBTC uh dude on YouTube. His name Cole. Uh, he be like, how about those cheese? He from up there, Kansas City. You don't watch him? Yeah, nah, right. I, don't know, I don't NBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I well, I, I follow fool. I watch all his content because I'm a cheese fan, bro. So. Um, so let's get to it, man. I got a couple more questions for you. I ain't gonna hold you up, bro. Um, you a dad? Yeah, I'm a dad. Yeah, man. How many kids you got? got me a, I got a son, man. He's got... 17 months. Oh, okay. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, yeah. dog. Appreciate Congratulations, that. man. Um, you feel like that made you change like your mind state thinking certain in a certain way? Yeah, it's different, man. Once you you already know once you become a like dad, like you so yeah. you got sole responsibility yeah. for yeah. somebody's life. You yeah. feel me? And everything that you do is like Mm -hmm. It affects them. You feel me? Yeah. Like every decision, like you make, impact this life to go this this way. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Most definitely, so, most definitely. You know, man. It's man. It's a blessing though, man. Like since being the father, man. It's, yeah. You know, it's it ain't nothing yeah. like it. You know, man. So I know you was raised with your dad, and I know he played a um a major role in your life. Um, as far as him just. Being there, like, did that did that make you play different? Like, just knowing that your dad there, like, on every corner, as far as like when you was growing up and stuff like that. Nah, nah, for for real, for real, like he definitely it definitely did. You know what I'm saying? Like when I knew knew he was in the um, stand, mm -hmm. man, I used to be. Man, he used to be they him and my old girl, they used to be screaming from the stand. Yeah. Like, I know I gotta really come out here and play, yeah, and play like, ball. they finna be yeah. coaching me up yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I get yeah. back to the thing. It used to kind of get on my nerves yeah. a little bit, yeah. though. But to a time I'm like, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, most definitely you gotta appreciate that. I appreciate that. you like being in there, like, you know, trying to really That's real. Get me right because you you can see what I can't see. Yeah, you feel most me? definitely, most definitely. That's real, there, man. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, I got, I got two sons, trying to do the same thing with them. I was, I was raised without a dad, so you feel me? I'm trying to fill that void for him, let him know, bro. I'm here, bro. I'm rocking all the way through, bro. You know, so. Man, that's a, that's a, that's man, that's a bit different, man. Just, you know, just having that, having that figure in your life. You feel me? Yeah, that could lead you, and that be the difference in a lot of situations. That's, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the best players in little league. You feel me? Like everybody, not everybody, don't make it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And little, it's a little margin of error. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that one mistake, that one. So having like a figure, somebody in your life that's that on you. Tell you like, even if it's not your old boy, like you need somebody. Yeah, to like. Tell you how to navigate through this mm -hmm. world, you feel me? Because it's a crazy world, like most definitely, me? most definitely. And if you don't got somebody that's telling you, like, the, man, watch this, do this, hey, boy, don't hang with him, boy. He, like, he, he shot out, like, boy, like I could tell, like, yeah. how he moved. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, he, he, he gonna, he gonna make you go this way if mm -hmm. you hang with that person. You feel me? Just little things like that, because yeah. a lot of people. They don't make it, sadly, because you feel me, like the company that they keep. Yeah. You yeah. know, I tell shorties all the time, but you wanna be a ball, you wanna be a football player? You feel me? Like it ain't no part time, boy. 
You need to be with people like minded that's trying to do what you doing every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if you, when it's time to go to school, is trying to do that. You need to be with people that's like, hey boy, like I ain't finna be not going to school because I ain't gonna be able to play ball. You yeah. can't. You gotta. You gotta be your own man, bro. You yeah. gotta be a leader. You feel Most me? Most definitely. And a lot of a lot of kids like if they don't got that figure, they just go to yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of kids. What they do is when they don't got that that loving figure, that dad or uncle, whoever it is, they fall. That becomes their homeboys, and their homeboys don't know better, so they choose to do stupid stuff. So that's that, that father figure plays a, a major role. Um, being um, raised in Miami and just being in Kansas City for the last two years. The, the people, they act different. Like Miami people act totally different. Cause my experience just being out of town, people from out of state are more nicer. Cause Miami people rule, bro. Rule. So what you think about that? Yeah, yeah it's different, man. I mean, it's... Like, yeah, I've been in places you feel me, like, like, like Kansas City, like, yeah, it's different. Yeah. Like, it's like a lot more like, I guess probably say hospitality yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But you know, Miami ain't as bad as like like some places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New some York, yeah, New York, yeah, stuff yeah. Like that with mm -hmm. people like people still speak in Miami. But like, I don't even know if it's a Miami thing. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, you walking down the street and you you feel me, you walk by somebody and you know, I feel like up there it's like, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then sometimes Miami, it's like you walking down yeah. there like like damn, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like we, we, we yeah. It ain't even gotta be like that. You yeah. feel me? But that's yeah. just we down here. You gotta, you gotta have a different mindset. You gotta yeah. kind of be more on point. Like mm -hmm. I learned, like a lot of people, like like even like I be like around like a lot of people in the league, like in, in Kansas City, like how they move is like they really don't really be moving like aware. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It's like sometimes too, you gotta be like that, dog. Nah. Yeah. You gotta move a certain way. You Most gotta, time. you gotta think like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's a but, different, it's a different environment down here. So you um Baltimore game, Mike Edwards get injured. You come in the game, you got your interception off of Lamar Jackson. How was that like? You just being you you like you know you was next up like how that was preparing for that because I'm watching um the franchise on on G the G G H I'm like damn and I see the way the coach embrace you at the end of that like y'all that that DB room like it's really like that with that coach like he he really love y'all like that like that that shit was crazy though bro man it, that that's a, that's a whole that's a whole not, that's a that's a crazy story yo yeah that's a crazy story bro so so you know. Like I, I'm real spiritual, you feel me? Yeah. Like I know everything that I got is because of God, Jesus. You feel me? God. Yeah. And you know, last year I got released for the first time in my career. Like at mm -hmm. the start of the year, man, I'm on practice squad. Yeah. And it's like, man, that jump was that jump was difficult to me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like I'm like, man, boy, like, like I'm really released, man. This I'm older. Like it's just like the end. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I started doing that and then like I snapped back into it. And then, you know, I just prayed about it. I'm talking to God and God told me like, boy, this, this ain't the end, boy. Yeah. You, I'm about to use this for my glory. You mm -hmm. feel me? So like, I'm talking to them boy, like week three, they see me out there at practice squad every day. I'm breaking, I'm running to the ball and coach like, coach pulled me to the side and all like, like, damn man, you like, and you just got released. And you still like trying to ball. beat. Yeah. You still like it ain't phasing you or nothing. Because I knew like I knew what God had told me. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling them boy, we three out like, yeah, boy, like I gotta stay on point. Cause I'm about to make a play that's gonna send us to a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 I told yeah, yeah. them boy I that. See that. I, see I told that. like three or four people that like I'm finna make a play to get us in a Super Bowl. Yeah. And it's like if you look at it, it's like, dang. That's boy. exactly what happened. Mike get injured, he went down. You came in the next play. Yeet, let me get that. <laughs> crazy. And that was week three. Like, I'm like fifth on the Yeah. Like uh, so much crazy. Yeah, so it was a lot happen. going on. Yeah, but yeah. For you to happen. get in that position. Cause y'all got a lot of safeties and a lot of DBs, but that's crazy. For it to be you, bro. 
So then, like, the so fast forward, ALC Championship, like, you know, the whole, throughout, throughout the whole year, it's like, I'm battling, like, dang, mm-hmm. man, I didn't think I was going to be on practice squad this mm-hmm. long. I thought I was going to get pulled up. They pulled you a, a week before, right? December. Oh, like, December. Yeah, December, the end the of December. first week of December, yeah. and I, I played, like, the last five games, you know what I'm saying? And then, fast forward, ALC Championship, we talking before the game. I told them boys, like, look, man, I'm finna get a fresh cut. Cause I'm about to, you know, when we go, I'm, I'm getting ready for the interview after the game. Yeah. They gonna holler at me, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Cause I made a big play and all that. Yeah. Them boys said, all right, now we gonna yeah. see, we yeah. gonna see. Yeah. And then I go out there, you know what I'm saying? And then we talking before the game and yeah. I told them boys again, mm-hmm. like the night before the game. Yeah. And that the next day that happened. that happened, man, and that just showed me a lot, like the power of the tongue. Yeah, you feel me? yeah, believe me. Like yourself. what you speak yeah. into the world, like is big. Like Most if definitely. you speak negative stuff on your life, you speak curses. You and, and not only on yourself, shoot, like now nah, I know, like man, if I'm talking to my kids, I ain't finna be telling my kids like, boy, this gonna happen to you. Mm-hmm. Like no, nah, I'm finna tell you, hey, boy, you gonna be great. Yeah. Most you gonna do this. Yeah. You gonna do this, cause yeah. that that was the ultimate, like, like, boy, speaking that into yeah, 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 like, and it, it made it happen, and it really happened, it made it happen. And that it ain't nothing but God in that situation. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so. that's real, though. So, um, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I, obviously, you went to school with a lot of people from down here who they they played sports, but now they into the music. Um, Major Nine. Um, Tracy, like who? Who's some of the artists that you listen to from down here? Man, I listen to shoot. I listen to all the you feel me artists from down here, bro. You know, you grew up on Mike Smith. Mm-hmm. Shoot, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Tracy, you I know Tracy. Yeah. Uh, Nine. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Uh. Bird. Oh yeah, bird, yeah. Bird. You feel me? I tell people all the time. Boy, I had we had Mo Bird and my iPod and then Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Most you definitely. feel me? We that's yeah. uh, but not iPod, MP yeah, MP, MP3, yeah, MP3, yeah. 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 With other CDs, you feel yeah. me? But oh like down south man. Like, not only down south, just Miami in general, like South Florida, you feel me? Like bro, we got some of the best music, dog. We do. All it takes is though. All it takes is just like that. That that just that one like take off wave of music. You see how Detroit, mm-hmm. how Detroit just had that little breakout. Yeah, and everybody on mm-hmm. Detroit music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think That's I think I think that my personal opinion. I I don't think Miami artists work with each other enough. But like my thing is like why I. I want to see Chad and Ball Greasy work together. You feel me? I want to see Major Nine and, I mean, Iceberg and Mike Smith. Like, I'm talking about, like, work, create, create, create. Not just one song every three, four years. Like, nonstop. Because now it's like, it's the South Florida wave, but then it's, 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 then it's like Miami left out because you got, uh, Lil Tyler, you got Boston Richie. You could go on and on and on and on all these guys that's doing music and all these boys working together, but Miami yeah. is the only people that's worked out. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's it's left too out. Much, too much. Like, I only, competition is good, but like, not like, like when I say co- competition is good, it's like competing to be the better yeah. version of yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But not looking at it like, oh boy, like if I'm trying to beat him. Yeah, I ain't gonna mess with him. But at this point, like really, it's like it should be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, I want him to be good. I wanna compete with him. I want him to elevate. Yeah. I elevate. We work together. Because he win. Yeah. I, I win. win and everybody just win. Because exactly. once everybody win, you feel me? Like, and I even went trick. Chicken numbers out. Yeah. Then Ross come right behind mm-hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. DJ Khaled, yeah. all them. Everybody yeah, winning. Everybody together. started winning. But that that Pitch that was the last time that that happened in Miami. Like it's literally been 15 years. You feel me? So I just want guys to understand. Like it's us. You feel me? It's us. We gotta change the whole narrative. Like start working with each other. Like Major Nine, bro. To me, Major Nine is the biggest artist in Florida. To me. You could yeah. you could compare him. It's a lot of other guys who who probably get get more recognition, but but Major Nine for sure. This man make beats. He play instruments. He he roll hands down, bro. But yeah, I just Miami Miami got to uh, tighten up. Yeah. Um. 
So I asked you earlier, between you and your brother, you say you felt like your brother was better than you? He was, he was, he was more athletic than me. Mm -hmm. We had different body structure different qualities. Oh, okay. me? Different, like he was more, I say he was more skilled than me. Okay. I've always been a little bit more like tougher, like, like when it comes to like, just like, mm -hmm. like physically and just like, oh, I, I would love, bro. I was, I always, I would love throw it off a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, just throw it off. Like, I type of person that I just, you feel me? Like, like even on the football field, I just run into you, boy. I don't care nothing yeah, yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. And even like with the, you know, with my peoples and stuff, I, I always want to quit the like fight. Like, mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. say something to yeah. me. I had a little big head. Yeah. Shot me <laughs> in the back of the head and I'm ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? I kind of grew out of that though. Yeah. But you feel me? Uh, but like, as far as like a pure athlete, Man, he jumped 24 in a long jump, basketball all, all day, mm -hmm. football all day. Like, he a hundred percent, like, one of the best athletes that probably came out of down south when it come to like doing everything. Yeah. And then that many people that was that raw at basketball, that mm -hmm. raw at track, that raw at football. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah. Oh, your brother ran track too? Track, yeah. He he jumped like a 24. He came in like Damn. second in second that state. Damn. Then he played basketball, like dropping 40 in the game. It's a 40 in championship yeah. games, then football, you feel me? So he was a crazy athlete. My other cousins before him, they was even crazier. Yeah, athletes, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, That's real though. So um Um the training camp. In um, Kansas City, I hear I, a lot of people say that Andy Reid don't play, boy. At all. How? How? That's that's. Is that the hardest training camp that you that you've been since? I mean, from compared to Chicago? Yeah, compared to Chicago. What yeah, What yeah, make yeah, it so intense, sure. though? Because you know, like, sure, when you a champion, there's a champions out there, man. Like, people held to a different standard. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, like, we already got the blueprint, so it's like, hey. When Pat Mahomes out here and, 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 and Travis Kelsey out here running every route, shoot, everybody got to be out there running exactly. every route. Like, I done been in Chicago with that vets, you know, they take their vet days, you know. Like, I'm about to go chill out this day, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do that on this day. Like, oh, nah, Pat them out there every day. No, nah, they out here every day. Kelsey out here every day. So, you know what, boy? You finna be out here every day. Yeah. And when you out there, you finna be held to a standard. Yeah. Because if you ain't meeting that standard, boy. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta find somebody else. Mm. Somebody else that can meet it. Because yeah. if they don't do that, guess what? We ain't finna be winning no Super Bowls. Most definitely. You know what I'm mean? saying? So that's why we won two Super Bowls, because they already got the blueprint. Yeah, this the three feet right here. Might do another. Hey, I'm saying, I'm saying, what's the talk in the locker room with the three feet? Like, y'all boys, like, y'all ready Boy, for it, bro? hungry, ready to go. But you know what I'm mean? saying? So, crazy. So, um, the, the, the rings this year was bigger than the ones last year? Yeah, they were different. The yeah. Rings, this, the ring, the rings, um, last year, last year, the top came me? off. The top came off. This one was like, look, man, I would have brung it if I wanted going to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah, you can't, nah, you can't do that, nah, boy. The ring crazy. Damn, I would have loved to see quick. that ring, boy. Yeah. Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> that shit's so crazy. Um, like, the the accountability in the room. You said that. You said that everybody just take accountability when everybody take accountability. That. That's real. How, how Patty is, bro, like, Cause I see, I, I'm I'm just from the outside looking in, bro. I I literally watch everything that has something to do with Kansas City on YouTube, bro. Every week. Um, when um that game that was that was Pat Worth's game, the Raiders game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that that Christmas game. How was did crazy. how was he like? He took that hard, or he just was like, I'm gonna just keep moving forward. So like, in this game, bro, you gotta have. Bad memory. Yeah. So that means you got to forget your success. And you, sometimes you got to forget when you play bad stuff yeah. that happened. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's all about the the next thing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's what I learned. That's what something that Pat got in him. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, they let that Ga last game. Yeah, mess them up. And now, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just a domino effect. You feel me? But somebody like Pat, like, when that happened, shoot, he like, man, I ain't tripping. Like, even when you said about the receivers, hey, we ain't tripping. We know we got all the tools mm -hmm. in the room. Like, mm -hmm. 
They just figure it out. You yeah. feel me? Like, and they figured it out. Because, boy, we was the underdogs all the way through. Nigga, we went through, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. Hey, they ain't like that, boy. Hey, but, I, uh, dog, you, you saw uh, I tagged you in a thing on... Um, on Instagram when I celebrated the Super Bowl, I was watching. Oh, yeah, the Super Bowl. Man, I showed up. Man, but, bro, you, hey, man, the whole world was against. I had, bro, I had my family. We playing against Lamar and them. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Boy, like, y'all for the lose. You just, you just won one, boy, but you know, yeah, we need Lamar to win. win. Lamar That's what win, bro, everybody man. was saying that to me. They was like, bro, I like, I like Kansas City, but boy, I need Lamar to win. He gotta get him one. I say, listen, I'm gonna keep it G with y'all. Everybody playing off big names. This what this what people like. They watch. Oh, they got big name players on defense, bro. That don't matter, boy. You sleep. These boys is dogs. I told them. I say, bro, our D line better than Baltimore's on. Oh no, it ain't. I say, bro, our defense better than Baltimore. Nah, no, it ain't. They got Rokon Smith over there. They got Patrick Queen. They got uh, what's the corner name? Humphrey. All that. I say, boy, y'all finna see. Y'all gonna see, boy. And and we went out there. We got like though, like Lamar, like he definitely, he definitely like my one of my favorite players mm -hmm. in the league. So mm -hmm. you feel me? Like I feel him though, but I'm like, dang, boy, like, <laughs> sure, we family, bro. Yeah. You know, dude, hey, forget all that. Yeah, bro, blood. Though. Let I, me I, get one, sir, in the end zone. <laughs> 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 but no, got one. It was seven minutes left in the game, bro. I'm telling you, boy, I watch all that shit, bro. Hey, I'm so happy, bro. Shout out to Kansas City Chiefs, man. And I'm trying to come up there to a game hey, this year. Up, I'm up, coming. Man. I'm coming, man. Um, hold on. I got so many. I ain't, ain't matter of fact, we ain't even got to do all these questions. Oh, my homeboy wanted me to ask you this. He played ball with you. With you, you probably don't remember him. He say, um. My homeboy Archie, he say, what do you feel like needs to happen down south so that they can get more spotlight on high school teams? Because, you know, up north, they talk big about Central, Shamana. You feel me? All them boys up there. He like, what what exactly does down south need to have more spotlight on players like you, like Bobby, Washington? Um, you feel what I'm saying? Man, yeah, you, you know, you. I never even thought about that. Cause I know down south. So you saying like you saying like high school? Yeah, like, high school because like they they really overlook these boys. Like you know you know about Bobby and Robbie them boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby they, and Robbie. Yeah. If, like imagine if they was at like Shamanai or something like that, bro. Yeah, it'd be people, different. You understand what I'm saying? It'd be different. They at Palmetto, now they at the U. But you know, if if they was up north, it'd be totally different. You know, I'm gonna say the difference between the high schools out here and, and up there. I feel like we a little bit more spread out. Like our talent most spread out. That is you know crazy, saying? yeah. Uh, they're like, like you think about the central, like everybody kind of like in the city, but mm -hmm. it's like, okay, the city, then you got, you know what I'm saying? You got Robin Hood, then you got Open Lock, and then yeah. everybody, everybody over yeah. there, and now they just come to one school. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like think about like here, like you got Bobby and uh, Robbie, they probably were supposed to go to the K, they went to Palmetto though, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of the people that go to Palmetto, they out the run, you feel me? And mm -hmm. then most of the people from Google, they go to South Ridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But instead, that's kind of like everybody, everybody from the Heights, everybody from the Rhine, and everybody yeah, 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 from yeah, yeah. Google's all go, go to, to one, one school. school. Yeah, yeah. Then shoot, sure, it's going to be a powerhouse. Yeah, most definitely. Me? That's crazy. My homeboy said that. He say, bro, because I, what I be doing is I ask my homeboys, do they have questions? You feel what I'm saying? So he was like, he say, bro, I feel like it only need to be four schools down south. I'm like, what you mean? He like, bro. Um, Homestead, South Dade, South Ridge, and um, no, he didn't say South Ridge. He said Palmetto, and no, he said no, he said Palmetto and South Ridge. Those, those are four schools. He said Homestead, South Dade, Palmetto, and South Ridge. He like, bro, everybody needs to go to these schools, bro. Like, it don't need to be you going over here, you going over here, you going over here, you going over here, because it's it's like. The talent is too spread out. It need to be everybody need to be a powerhouse. One year to be this year, y'all team. Next year to be our team. Like you feel what I'm saying? So like you said up there, I think that's what they do. They just and we got more private schools. Exactly. Man. So like, shoot, like shit. I was even one on. I went to a private school. I supposed to go to the Ridge. Oh, Columbus. Yeah. So, but Columbus is a great school to get you in college. So that's what I'm saying. So like, like down south is like. We got Columbus, you got all these provinces. You got Columbus, you got mm -hmm. Culver, you feel me? You got what else you got that other people go to? It's, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of little private schools like up there. 
You think about it, they got pace. Ain't nobody really. They, like, they went to pace at one point. Yeah, they, they ain't nobody going to that. They other going, than Chaminade, yeah. St. Thomas? Yeah. St. Thomas and Broward. So mm-hmm. most of the people, ain't that many dead mm-hmm. people. Yeah, you got love that the people dead that go up there, but. Yeah. Um, one more question. Your top five receivers in the league right now. All right, top five. So I'm going to go with Devontae Allen. Number one? Or you just going? It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, no numbers. You don't got a number. number. You don't got a number. You don't got a number. So you got Devontae. You got Hill. uh, You got Jettis. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you put Chase in there. Let me see. Chase. Uh, Hey, who number five? Probably Stephon Diggs. No, no Keenan Allen, none of them boys. Keenan Allen raw, you feel me? He one of the best, like you want to say route runners, like mm-hmm. like releases off the ball. Then I'm gonna say Keenan Allen, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like like short intermediate routes and just like ball skills. Like Keenan Allen definitely one of the best to do it. Yeah. But as far as like just like dynamic that can do everything, I like Ridley too. Calvin, he back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like that boy, that, bro. nice. He was cool. Uh, I'm tripping. Cool. Cool. Amari Cooper? Cool. Cool. Cooper is one of the most polished receivers in the league. What about CD? He just quiet, so yeah, he people don't talk. be talking about it. What about think? CD? CD raw. CD raw. I don't know if I could put him in front of like Tyreek Hill and, yeah. and mm-hmm. them boys, you feel me? But yeah, so I think that's the I think that's a five hour route yeah, here, though. That's real though. That's real. Give me um give me five running backs, bro. Shoot, man. I'ma put I'm gonna put my dog Pacheco in there for it's sure. Pump, 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 check, uh mm-hmm. who else I'm gonna put in there? Yeah, running backs. I got Josh Jacobs. I got Barkley. Um McCaffrey. And shoot, who number five? It'd be hard for that fifth one every yeah, time. Yeah, that fifth hard. That fifth hard. But it's some it's some ballers out there, boy. Hey, who um, who I put at number five for running back? Can't even really think about no You I I can name a couple of them. Um, yeah, name a couple. Name a um, couple. Um Aaron Jones, he got traded to what you call it? Um you got Swift. I like Swift. I like Swift. You got he one of the, he one of the best like all purpose backs yeah, in the league. You got you got Mixon. I like Mixon too. You got um Brees Hall from um I like that. He got a lot of potential. Boy, too. that boy nice. Um who else who else like that? Oh, the running back for uh for Washington. What uh, uh he he had got shot when he first got in the league. Oh, who the Gibson? Nah, not yeah, I think his name Gibson. That's his name? Was it Gibson or, or the oh the other one from Bama? Yeah, the, the fool from Bama. Yeah. It's a it's a lot of boys. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of good boys. backs. It's no? a lot of them, boy. I like I like younger backs too. Yeah. Then you got you got Montgomery. You got Gibbs. Gibbs for uh, Detroit, right? Detroit. Oh my God. Man, you gosh. got a lot of ballers. I think the people that really stand out. You know, you got McCaffrey. He gonna stand out. Yeah. Broccoli gonna stand out. Uh. Um, I feel like I'm missing somebody Harry, though, man. Harry. Yeah, Harry, Harry like that. I'll probably put Harry number five just because his body yeah, of work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harry. Harry like that. You got a crazy body of work. Okay. Um cornerbacks, bro. Give uh, me, cornerbacks. You feel me? Five. I'm a shoot. I ain't even saying this to be biased either, you feel me? So I'm putting Snee and McDuffie in there. Yeah. Them boys. Gangsta, bro. I'm putting Pat Sertain in the yeah for Broncos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, who else I'm putting in? Uh, I'm putting uh, bro, bro from the Jets. Uh, Gardner Sauce Sauce. Uh, shoot, man. you got Trayvon Diggs bro. over there at Dallas. You got I'm taking, the dude. I'm taking. I'm taking Ramsey. Ramsey? I gotta have Ramsey in there just because you feel me. Just, yeah. Uh, like mo- one of the most physically gifted cornerbacks that we didn't see. That boy big. Me? That boy like six three. Like as far as six three, he can move like a little. Like he love you feel me. He explosive. He can mm-hmm. jump. Can run. Yeah. Can do all that. Yeah. So that's real though. Um. 
Um, and we gonna we gonna interview in, in the interview like this, man. Again, Dion Bush, I appreciate you, dog. I really do. Um, cause you know I, I mainly focus on music. Give me your top five artists, rappers, all time, all time, all time. Eesh. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do five. I'm gonna do seven for you. All right, all time, sure. Just like, just like my opinion, your opinion. Or just like in the world, like uh, uh, my top five, my yo, top yo, seven. your top seven. You don't, nobody else's. Whatever you listen to, who you like, and the the ones that that you do say, and I'm a, and and I probably don't agree with. I'm gonna just ask you why. That's it. Okay. So I'm gonna say my number one, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Uh, number two, Trip. Okay. Uh. If I'm going just based off of my life and who I listen to most of my life, you feel me? I'ma put um I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Berg in there. Okay. Um uh, Jeezy. Yeah. Uh who else I listen to the most? I used to love T.I. Mm -hmm. Put him at five. And my older as time got on, when I got older, I like Yak. I'm gonna put Yak in there. And uh, shoot, man, Tracy Supreme. Yeah, the last that's time. real. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Trace, boy. <laughs> hey, man, this is the Mod Life Hard Body Podcast, man. We got Dion Bush. I appreciate him. He from Miami, so he came through and showed us some love. Hopefully, we could get more um athletes on here it's not just a podcast for music i'm trying to make it something big in florida one of the biggest platforms in florida y'all see how no jump is i'm trying to make this like this but not with the crazy stuff yeah, so check in man yeah man i appreciate y'all man thank you dog. i appreciate you, appreciate you i really do i'm a little raw ass nigga from the ghetto swimming with the creature now i'm feeling like the pedal traded to the thunder now i'm feeling like mellow love big booty bitches when they walk call them jello i just want better for my homie and my kids seen club live and i'm like i can live i just want to give ain't too much i could take snakes in the grass now i'm walking with a rake nothing was the same i be feeling like drake got so much pain god told me he'll pray put me in the game because you know i don't play with your hands in my face i'ma still hit the tray golden state that's a stefan curry rock guy rings now you feel like Murder these niggas, I would never feel sorry at a R in a Y to a bar that's Barry. That's Barry.